Some people who are watching this rally say they think these posters are counterproductive. Students here at East Chicago Central High School may not be sending their moon buggies to space, but they will be competing in a competition April 9th. The modernization of O'Hare has created a lot of jobs, as well as Bensonville, too. The science storm is not only a mind-boggling experience, it's a learning experience. From tsunami storms to wind tunnels of tornado, the exhibit is a complete eye-catcher for all ages. Why does a flame burn, a tornado spin, a wave break, and lightning strike? All of these questions will be answered if you visit the Science Storm exhibit at the Museum of Science and Industry. The exhibit reveals science behind lightning, fire, tornado, avalanches, tsunamis, sunlight, and atoms in motion. I like the tornado part. Why did you like it? Because it was cool. The science storm is not only a mind-boggling experience, it's a learning experience. From tsunami storms to wind tunnels of tornado, the exhibit is a complete eye-catcher for all ages. I'd say the fire, where you can see the fire in the, um, the sprinkler system, where you can control how much water comes out and see it with the laser, that's pretty good, pretty awesome. One of the main attractions at the exhibit was on the second level. The wind tunnel is a small cylinder booth with wind blowing down on you completely messing up your hair. And if you want to make this experience special, all you have to do is put your side pass in the slot and your picture will be online. It's like a mini version of a, like a small tornado or something. You know, and um, that's about it. It makes you want to go in again. But if the wind tunnel didn't blow your socks off, Right next to it was a little demonstration of sports. No, Derrick Rose wasn't there in person, but there is a little quick video to perfect the angle of your shot. Lining up in a sea of red, people were eager Wednesday night to celebrate their success in prayer. The 100 Blocks 100 Churches started off as 100 Corners 100 Blocks through CAPS, but through Officer Norman, Officer Tanya Collins, and Christine Perez, they started their own prayer session in the 15th District. So we just went ahead and changed the title and added Churches because we felt that churches were the foundation of the community. So we felt that if we contacted the ministers and, and the church leaders, that they could take, you know, lead us in outreach. And that's how it started. The celebration kicked off with prayer and praise dancers. The crowd ranged from elderly seniors to youthful children. 15-year-old Tevin Hayes was one of the many teenagers in the crowd enjoying the celebration. I think it was a, a great event because it was so many killings in the Austin neighborhood that I fear for my own life, but now that I know that I got people who are praying for me who, and praying with me, I know that change don't come because I believe God for change. It was stated that there was a total of 71 community leaders that participated. Out of 100 blocks, 85 blocks were prayed on for four weeks, giving a total of over 2,000 volunteers working in the Austin community. And we were out on the corners, praying, singing, giving positive feedback to the community about all the violence and the struggle that they're facing here today. There wasn't too much detail as how this will spread to the south side of Chicago, but they will make an effort to do so. I think the city of Chicago should latch on to and everyone should do it. That's the only way that we're going to ever have any type of crime prevention, a true crime prevention program here inside this city. We all have to band together. I am a true believer that there is no I in team. Here are some responses as to preventing future violence. With prayer, anything is possible. They can change their ways too. They're killing people of futures. There's too many people got too many dreams out here for you to be going out here acting a fool, acting acid that, and killing other people, who, innocent people who ain't did nothing to you. So I will ask you to please to stop. Please stop the violence. This is Sade Gray reporting for Austin Talks. President Barack Obama says he will work quickly to pick a new U.S. Supreme Court justice. 
It's almost that time. The deadline to file taxes is just a couple of days away. Coming up next on Newsbeat, a popular drink stirs up controversy with a new ad. Palm Wonderful, the Trini pomegranate juice is taking heat for its latest ad. The ad shows a bottle with a noose around the neck. The ad reads, quote, beat death, the antioxidant power of pomegranate juice, end quote. A Palm spokesman says the ad has stirred up a lot of ugly associations with violence. Palm says they will pull the ad immediately. It may not have been the carbs, but nutritionists say there is not much health about Kentucky's Fried Chicken's new sandwich. It's called the Double Down. It features two grilled chicken or fried chicken patties, bacon strips, cheese, and sauce. KFC claims it's 540 calories. The Double Down has the salt requirements and the adults should eat in an entire day. Good. Tina Fey is at it again, poking fun at Sarah Palin on Saturday Night Live. At 2.30, catch me, and are you smarter than a half-term governor? I think you'll be surprised by the answer. I know I was. They hosted the show this week. She did parody after parody about shows that would be on Sarah Palin Network. Faye has been impersonating Palin since her 2008 vice presidential run. That's it for Newsbeat. I'm Sharday Gray.